Have you ever wanted to have satellites in KSP? I'll show that it's possible with low tech in three minutes or less. To make this even harder, I'll be flying without having apopsis and periapsis markers. No per rate and retrograde or any other buttons on SAS and a really bad rocket. First, you should unlock these if you haven't already. Pause if necessary. To the VAB. Rocket assembly will be sped up for convenience. Obviously, you'll want some batteries on your satellite, as well as somewhere to put all the important science stuff optional. Since this is low tech, there won't be much else to put on it. Never forget your solar panels, carbonots. Also, don't forget your antennas. I spent an awfully long time finding a good place for this relay antenna, so I'll skip it. Some more solar panels can never hurt. Making the main stages. AHEM dot 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 nothing to see here. Let's see how well this rocket does. We're going pretty fast. As you can see the rocket is spinning. We'll ditch the Reliant engine and use the swivel instead for its swiveling. We're pretty close to orbit here. Final burn. Let's check if we made it. As you can see, getting satellites early is very easy. Now that we have this satellite in orbit, we can use it for science, contracts and also anomaly hunting. Anomaly hunting is very simple. To do it you need a probe core with curb net access. Then sit and wait until you see an anomaly and mark it. After that you can see it on the map and send planes or rockets to it. See you guys next time.